Hi guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're gonna I'm gonna put together the uh, Slim X frame from Banggood. It's a Slim X 200. Uh, it's a 200 millimeter, so five inch quad. Uh, they're saying it's a True X and it's 3K carbon and it's a four millimeter plate. So let's just quickly dive into it. And actually, this is all the parts that come with it. Really, it doesn't come with a PDB. It comes with the standoffs and screws right here, but they're just making a mess, so I put them off to the side. Um, we're gonna measure the 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 plates here, and there's something pretty crazy that actually comes with it. They actually give you a pigtail with it, which is I think is pretty awesome. Actually, I, I really like this. So they give you your XT6 connector, some silicone wires, and a pigtail here. That's ready made for you. Just cut it up and just set it up. Which is this is something new for me. I've never seen a frame come with this. Uh, however, like I said, I'm, they probably did this because it's not going to come with a PDB. However, this is the frame's actually on the expensive side. It's forty-five dollars and seventy-two cents, and uh, I want to just let you guys know this was sent to me courtesy of Banggood. So I got this free of charge for review, and I'm just going to review it like my other. It has nothing to do that I got it for free, and uh, I'm just going to put it together, see how it is, and then we just check it out. Really, it's the first impressions, and later on we can build it and actually take it for a flight. We might build it, or I might just do a giveaway. I don't know yet. So let's check out the arms. The arms are four millimeters as they stated. Now they are sanded and filed down, so that's that's pretty good. I mean, yeah, you're paying fifty dollars. I mean, uh, that's the least they can do, really. So the arms are. Is this is uh, this is not. This is one of the bottom plates. This is this is the upper bottom plate right here. Uh, that'll go above the arms. It's uh, three millimeters. Hold on, let me see it off camera. No, actually, it's two millimeters. So this is two millimeters here. And let's check this. This is the bottom, bottom plate. This is also two millimeters. And these are like the side pop plates that will go on top of this. So basically, there's going to be little tiny standoffs that just hold it up that much. And then these would somehow connect here. I don't know yet. Once I put it together, I'll figure it out. So let's check out these little side plates right here. Um... Two. It's two millimeters. This one seems kind of thick here. This is the upper plate where these will connect to. Uh, they'll go on top of. And this monster is five, four, three, three, three millimeters. This is three millimeters thick. Yeah, three, one, two, three. Yeah, three millimeters thick. And actually, it doesn't even come with a battery strap, so that's kind of um, that's not good. But it's all right. That's fine. Um, there's something to note. The packaging is not a great packaging. It's just a squared box, and these stuff just come in bags like this. So that is all there for packaging. So uh, that, yeah. So the packaging wasn't really a wow factor here. All right. So let me put this together, and we just take a look at it, weigh it, and see how good it is. So it's called the Slim X. So maybe it's supposedly supposed to be a light frame. I don't know what clone this is going to be of. Someone, if someone knows, just put it down in the comments. Um, and I'm just gonna weigh this and that new real AC Blackbird, and we're gonna see because that one's supposedly supposed to be one of those light frames, and we're gonna just compare them. So, so yeah, since I just got that one built right now, not built, just assembled really. So okay, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna put this all together and be right back, guys. All right, guys. So we have the frame assembled here and everything just aligned perfect. I didn't have to file anything down. Oh. And just there was just four screws missing, basically just four long screws that would hold your flight controller in place. Uh, I didn't come with any nylon standoff, so you're gonna have to get your own with that. And it did not come with a PDB. Now, when you assemble this, uh, leave this these holes open because this is where you're gonna mount your FPV camera. And uh, I accidentally put this down here first, so and then I just looked at it and said, This doesn't look right. Where am I gonna mount my FPV camera? And then I just looked at the pictures on Banggood and then I just kind of figured it out. Um, what's awesome is actually this one you could just take the top plate off and you could just rotate it either that way or that way, it doesn't matter. So it's, it's good there. Uh, the GoPro mounting solution is pretty awesome. Let me just show you here. So it's, it's pretty good. It looks good. I actually like it. I mean, it protects your camera. But I don't think this is a beginner frame, someone for a beginner, unless you're feeling brave, then go ahead and go for it. Um, 
the width are small, so the, the width of the arms are small, so you're gonna, I would truly recommend going with 4 and one ESC, or you might damage your ESCs if you crash. Uh, what else is there here? You get about 18 millimeters in here of space, and what's awesome is for your battery strap, you don't have to leave extra room, which is uh, just wasted space, so you could just put it in through here. And when you put this together, these arms come in a right angle. So just take a note, make sure they don't block your way down here, and that's why they, they, they there is no instructions, it didn't come with any instructions, so you're going to have to figure out as you go. Um, they say it's 3K carbon, um, it just feels, it feels good, Doesn't, I don't think it's high quality 3K carbon, and to be honest, for $45, I would expect a lot more, at least just with a PDB, you know, it's nice of them, they, they gave us a little pigtail here. It's already pretty assembled. I don't even know if it's a SMA or RPSMA. I haven't really checked it. I think it's a RPSMA. I'm not sure. <clears throat> but the overall look and feel, it's good. Uh, the, the sanding down of the arms is not as good as quality as the Jeb RC. And that is for around the same price points, like $50. So, you know, if you have a Jeb RC and you want something new or just something like this, you could just go ahead and grab one. Um, let's just weigh it now and see how much it weighs. So, is it zeroed out? Nope, we need to zero out the scale. Okay. And let's put it in here. So, it is 88 grams. Is it 88 grams? I should lift my hands up. Yeah, okay. It's uh, 88 grams. Uh, some things up with my scale. Anyways, it's 88 grams, and on the website, it's saying it's 88.42. So that's fairly light, but it's just basically like, you know, like a real AC X210 and uh, and that split level frame. So um, it's, it's good. Um, and that's really it, guys. That's going to conclude it for this video i mean the mounting solutions look pretty cool i guess kind of you could maybe put a vtx here or your receiver here um if you don't have any room down here but it's overall it's a pretty tight build so you just have to be extra careful here and you're gonna have a lot of room for noise depending on how you're gonna run the wires so yeah that's that's really it guys so that's gonna conclude it for this video i really hope it help someone out there if someone was really looking into this frame um, this detail this info i gave you was probably useful to you and if you guys have any suggestions or any questions just feel free to ask so um that's it guys see ya take care happy flying